Aku rasa macam lama sangat since last content tentang Merimbology Super duper lama uh, So minggu ni kita buat balik kot Content Marine Biology So let's do this So let's check last content Tentang Marine Biology dekat channel ni Sekejap <laughs> Aku tak tahu bila lah Last content aku Last content tentang Marine Biology dalam channel ni Ialah Uh, no Bukan 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 Oh ya yeah. Ada satu Ni pasal FYP aku kot <laughs> Last content tentang Merumah Lucik lah 12 Mei 2017 <laughs> Sekarang dah bulan 10 Bapak lah Lama gila kot Adoi. Dekat 5 bulan tak buat Merimbology related content Oh pak lama Ok let's do the content for this week uh, Ok this week kita nak buat satu content Sebabkan rasa terpanggil nak buat content minggu ni Tentang Merimbology So aku ada go through a few websites Yang aku rasa menarik Then aku come across this website Tentang quiz kot So aku tak ambil lagi quiz ni And aku rasa macam nak Buat quiz ni dengan korang So Let's do this Dia <laughs> uh, punya tajuk Could you be a marine biologist? Could I? Could I? Yes I could Well I am I was I was or I am Chances are you wanted to be a marine biologist When you were a kid Or found it absolutely fascinating Which it is <laughs> uh, Yes it is Well could you really do it? Could I? Dah ambil 3 tahun kot Penat-penat belajar Boleh lah kot jadi marine biologist Kot <laughs> Banyak kot kat situ sebab tak yakin lagi So let's play Marine biology is the study of ocean plants and animal And their ecological relationship Or the study of ocean reptiles, fish and mammals and their life pattern Skur ni susah <laughs> Dua-dua jawapan ni nampak macam sama tapi aku akan go to the first jawapan kot Sebab lebih tu ada hubung kait antara plant and animals Dan ada perkataan ekologi So nampak macam convincing sikit jawapan nombor satu tu Sebab ada ecological relationship So yeah Hmm Science believes we have a quite a few species of marine life to discover still Or are close to discovering all life within the oceans or and even close to discovering all marine species hmm. tentang pilihan jawapan ni aku gunakan a uh, few my readings and experience kot untuk jawab soalan ni dan bagi jawapan based on my reason aku ada baca satu fakta yang less than 20% of ocean species are discovered Maksudnya 80% lagi tak pernah di discovered lagi dalam ocean So For this question I would like to choose the third one Okay The third one Most likely oil shark have An astounding sense of Hearing, smell, sight Salah satu daripada pilihan jawapan dia tak ada Iaitu sense of motion Sebab shark dia ada satu pigment ataupun sensory yang dipanggil ampulla of Lorenzini That's lagu The sense of electrical charges in the surrounding So means that kalau kita move So electrical charges has been transferred in the medium of water To the ampulla of Lorenzini Tu kalau tak silap aku lah, facts dia So I would go for smell Yeah, smell Oh shark, my eye besar sih <laughs> Shark use their razor sharp teeth for chewing or ripping? The answer is ripping <coughs> They're not for chewing Oh, true or false? This distribution of marine organism depend on the chemical and physical properties of seawater True Betul 
Dia kata depends on physical characteristic of sea water Means that kalau air tu terlalu kotor ataupun uh, Macam salinity dia ataupun kemasinan dia terlalu tinggi Mungkin ada a few species je yang boleh hidup dekat tempat tu So kalau air tu terlalu bersih Macam dekat kawasan coral Tak ada nutrient So banyaklah species-species yang tertentu yang boleh hidup dekat kawasan tu So it's true The carapace of a sea turtle refer to its protective height, upper shell, under shell, carapace. The term of carapace tu sendiri guna pada ketam, ah geng-geng ketam, lobster, udang macam tu. Tapi ni macam dan nak refer pada shell belakang tu. So protective height or upper shell, tu sama ya. Okay, protective height ni aku rasa consider as both ah upper shell and lower shell. So kalau bahagian karapis ni apa shell kot? Kot. Nampak tak yakin? <laughs> Aduh lama saya dah berkarat dah kot. So aku go for apa shell? Of the three type of plankton, some small crustacean and jellyfish are considered Hmm. Crustacean ni uh, dengan kata mudahnya keluarga-keluarga macam uh, lupa. <laughs> ah yes, keluarga-keluarga macam uh, udang, uh, ketam, plankton, zooplankton, uh, apa ni, coffee pot macam tu kut. Kut. Ya, yeah, anthropod. Eh, coffee pot. Anthropod betul lah. So, zooplankton, yes it is. Orca, Orsinus orca. Orca belongs to the whale, dolphin, porpoise. Hmm. Susah kan ni? Eh? Okay Characteristic of orca yang aku nampak dan aku ingat Macam Propoise uh, Dolphin and Propoise Lebih kurang sama Tapi perbezaan dia pada Beak dia Iaitu dia punya mulut dia Dolphin dia ada mulut yang memanjang dan meruncing uh, Propoise dia ada mulut yang bland Tumpul dekat depan Tapi Orsinus orca ni orang panggil Killer whale Killer whale tau So I go for Whale Dolphin males, females and babies are called the same term as males, females. Ah, oh, okay, faham faham. Dolphin males, females and babies are called the same term as ah uh -huh, males, females and babies. Jawapan dia lah cow. Okay, uh, anak kepada dolphin dalam bahasa Inggeris kita panggil calf. Okay, calf, calf of dolphin. So sama dengan macam cow. Coral ah. Uh? Animal Okay Ingat lagi tak uh, Salah faham rimbologi Coral bukan haiwan No Coral bukan plant Coral bukan No Ini misi misconception Blah 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 Coral is a plant Not animal Coral bukan Bukan Tumbuhan Bukan Coral is an animal Not a plant Okay So Coral bukan plant is animal Okay Which of the following group Classifies marine animals that are bottom fairing. Apa ah, bottom fairing? Oh, okay. Bottom fairing ni orang yang duduk dekat da kawasan dasar. Ka kawasan dasar ni kita akan panggil a uh, bentik. Bentik ni ialah marine animal yang duduk kat kawasan dasar. Kalau planktonik ni drifted. Dia orang apa ni? Drifted ni apa? Anak ya? Melayu. Dia orang terawang-awang. Dora ni sentiasa ditolak dengan mercy of current lah So, ke hulu, ke dengan current punya force lah Nectonic, nectonic apa lah? Lupa lah Nectonic, the collection of marine and freshwater organism that can swim freely And uh, generally independent of current Ah yes! Oh, lawan ataupun antonim kepada planktonik ialah nektonik. Okey okey. Ingat ingat. So, next. When you are looking at coral reef, you are looking at <coughs> petrified carbonate sea plant, colonies of calcium animal exoskeleton. Ha? Huh? Exoskeleton. Okey, coral kan, coral reef. Full of exoskeleton of an ancient singular animal. Kenapa disebut ancient kat sini? Sebab coral ni antara animal animal betul lah coral ni antara animal yang terawal dulu 
pada zaman dinosaur pun dah ada dah so sebab tu dia kata ancient ok um, hmm. kalau daripada segi facts and facts and facts jawapan yang last kali tu mungkin betul tapi personally dia kata when you looking at when you is refer for me so i would go for the first one dia akan creating dia akan creating dia akan creating <laughs> dia akan creating wow you know your facts experiment marine biology yes i am i'm graduating for 3 years of marine biology yo Now, bear in mind that an actual marine biologist is responsible for everything from intensive field research to laborious laboratory work. But hey, you clearly know your stuff. Oh, stop patronizing me. I know my stuff lah. Come on, I'm a marine biologist. Right? Color us a shade of coral because we are impressed. Oh, fuh. Fuh. <laughs> Tinggi sangat dia orang punya expectation kat aku ni. As diverse as our ocean and their wildlife are, You have built an intensive knowledge base for yourself and find marine life to be incredibly fascinating. As familiar as you are, we don't think anyone would bat an eye if you started a career in marine biology or if you already have. <laughs> no, I'm not. Aku nak highlight kat dekat sini tau. Mana? Intensive knowledge You have built an intensive knowledge based on yourself and find marine life is incredibly fascinating. You know why? You know why? You know why for this statement? Tiga tahun kot belajar marine biology. Mana tak intensive ya? Dengan testnya, dengan assignmentnya, dengan FIPnya, buat thesis, buat tu semua. So, intensive tak intensive lah. Oh ya, yeah. picture ni lah. Clown trigger fish kot. Clown trigger fish. If I'm not mistaken lah. Clown trigger fish. Yes! Clown trigger fish. Clown trigger fish. Trigger fish ni jangan buat main lah. Kalau korang nampak uh, trigger fish. Uh, kalau korang tak tahu lah trigger fish ni macam mana. Okay, kalau korang biasanya trigger fish ni ada dekat kawasan dive site je Kalau kawasan snorkeling ni tak biasa jumpa So ya yeah, aku harap aku dah penuhi apa yang patut aku penuhi dalam channel ni <laughs> Kononnya dulu nak jadikan channel ni marine biology so Welcome back <laughs> Tak tahu berapa lama bertahan Dan aku rasa kan pilihan-pilihan jawapan dia tu Ada a few soalan tadi yang Kalau kau jawab salah buat satu daripada ni semua betul Aku rasa lah page ni bagi A play safe condition right? A play safe situation Which is Siapa-siapa saja boleh jadi marine biologist Itu yang dia nak try buat Tapi ada juga soalan-soalan yang macam Ada satu jawapan yang betul Macam yang Apa Bottom fairing Bottom fairing Fairing Tak ingat Bottom dwellers yang dekat Gambar lobster tu tadi ya, Itu memang benti uh, Apakah yang Bergerak With mercy of current, planktonic and sebagainya Itu memang jawapan solid lah So, ada juga macam tu So, yeah, uh, feel free to try the quiz Whether you are marine biologist or not Let me know in comment below Apakah korang punya jawapan Apakah korang punya statement yang keluar lepas tu You are marine biologist or not Okay <laughs> Aku tinggalkan link untuk quiz ni dekat description below Dan macam biasa, kalau korang suka video ni Give a thumbs up and as always, be nice to be good